Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of January 15 to January 21st, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Capricorn. And then I'm going to see your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Let's see your energy, spirit angels, and guys, please show me the energy of Capricorn in regards to love for this week. Thank you, spirit. All right, what's the energy of Capricorn? Capricorn. All right, first card we have for you is the Chariot, the Fool, and also, interesting, Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, the Tower, the Knight of Cups, the World, and the Six of Wands. Someone's coming towards you unexpectedly. The Tower and the Knight of Cups. Mm. Someone's coming towards you unexpectedly. Six of Wands to the Nine of Wands to the Seven of Cups. Yeah, look at that, Knight of Swords. Someone is definitely showing up, showing up in your life, resurfacing back up in, back up into your life, um, reaching out to you. It feels very impulsive with the Knight of Swords. Someone's making an impulsive decision to, to see you, to talk to you, to reach out to you. They weren't sure about it, though, with the Nine of Wands to the Seven of Cups. Before this person um, takes action toward you, I do see that they are going to be feeling really insecure and nervous and scared and indecisive, confused. But it just kind of looks like all of a sudden this person is making up their mind and, and making the decision to to chase you, to pursue you, to come after you. Now, we do have the world card. So for some of you, this is someone who you um, broke up with or separated from. If that's the case, this person's not over you and it kind of looks like they want to... Um, they want to get you back with the Knight of Swords. Let me see what you're doing over there. Let me take a look at you. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Pentacles connected to Capricorn. Yeah, connected to Capricorn's energy. Queen of Pentacles, please. Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. Oh, yeah, that's what I saw. Knight of Pentacles is showing up. It kind of looks like when you broke up with this person or separated from them, you decided to focus on yourself, your work, your career, your finances, your goals. Um, you decided to just emotionally detach and be very um, work-focused. Okay, tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. 
in Capricorn's energy. Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Some of you were also ready to like put yourself out there again and explore new options or, you know, meet new people. Um, make yourself available for new opportunities, new love, a new relationship. I feel like you, you put it in your mind to to leave this person in the past and focus on yourself and also focus on being open and available for someone new. Hmm. What are Capricorn's feelings for this person, Spirit? What are Capricorn's feelings for this person that's showing up here in the reading? What does Capricorn feel about this person? In your feelings, we have the Sun, the Emperor, the Page of Swords. Oh. So you're very drawn to this person. You're very attracted to this person. Um, You do have feelings for this person. You definitely have feelings for this person. But with the Page of Swords, you feel like this is someone who might not have your best interests at heart. You feel like this person might be all about themselves in a very, like, in a selfish way. Let me see how you're viewing them. Tell me about the Page of Swords in regards to how Capricorn is viewing this person. Or thinking about this person. Two of Cups. Yeah, you feel a very intense soulmate connection with this person. Two of Swords. Uh, you feel like you need to block them. You feel like you're not safe with them. Huh. Okay. Okay. I see. I think I see what's going on here. You know, I think this person definitely had um had somebody else that they were dealing with. Yeah. They were trying to replace you Capricorn with somebody else and I feel like this person left that other person that they were dealing with to be with you and to fix things with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what happened. All right, Spirit, show me Capricorn again. Let me see if I can get your energy a little bit more. Show me Capricorn again, Capricorn. Three of Pentacles, yeah, there it is. Two of Pentacles, King of Cups. So you're the fool then. Tell me about the fool in Capricorn's energy. Yeah, there you go, Empress. I knew it. I was like, you're not the Queen of Pentacles, are you? I just thought you were the Queen of Pentacles because it's an Earth sign um, energy, but no, this is not you. This is not you. This is the third party. This is somebody that, this is someone who your person was connecting to. Yeah. This is someone who your person was connecting to. Um, and it didn't go anywhere, though. It, this person was meant to be a rebound. That's what happened here. They were meant to be a rebound. Unfortunately, this person caught feelings for your person, Capricorn. Yeah. But it's not reciprocated because your person wants to be with you, not with them. They were only meant to be a rebound. They were only meant to be a temporary replacement. They were never meant to be anyone serious. For, for your person. They were never meant to be a serious relationship. 
but this this person caught feelings for your person and they're feel right now they're feeling disappointed they're feeling sad they're feeling upset they're feeling confused they're waiting to receive messages from your person but it's not happening because your person is no longer um interacting with them or communicating with them because your person is focused on being with you and on um, pursuing you, Capricorn. Got it. Let me look at this. Now, looking at your energy, so you're the fool with the empress. You see, you're the main person, not the side person. You're the main person. So this person, um, you felt it. You, you could feel that this person was keeping secrets from you. Yeah. And they, and they were, and they are. But intuitively, you were picking up on the fact that this person is hiding things from you and is, is keeping secrets from you. And it was causing you a lot of stress and grief because you felt like you didn't know where you stood with this person. You didn't know where you stood in this relationship. You didn't feel validated or, or you didn't feel valued. So with the full card, it does look like you decided to break free and release yourself from this person and this relationship with this person because it was leaving you with more questions than answers and you're the empress you know you're someone who has a lot of worth and you don't need to put up with that so you went you went ahead and disconnected yourself from them and here they are wanting you back with the emperor you are this person's true match you are their true match They see you as their soulmate, as their as their other half. So they were exploring their options here. They were connecting to other people and talking to other people. But it kind of looks like this is them deciding that they're, they're wasting their time talking to these people and connecting to other people that they don't really care about at the end of the day. They don't really have any intentions for anything serious with them, they don't. They don't see. It, they don't see themselves having a future with them. Um, and nobody compares to you. Nobody measures up to you. So they're in this energy of, all right, I'm wasting my time. You know, I'm feeling more depressed than ever. You know. This is not helping me. This is not distracting me. It's just making me think about Capricorn even more. That's all it's doing. So they're in this energy of, okay, I need to, I need to fix things with Capricorn. I need to do something here. Okay. How does Capricorn feel? How does Capricorn feel? Not not the side person here, Capricorn. Could be another Capricorn, this side person, or this rebound person. Five of Cups, Justice, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you feel like you want an equal partnership. You you feel like you want an equal give and take relationship. You want a commitment. You want someone who's reliable and consistent. And with the Five of Cups, this person has definitely disappointed you in that regard. Um, they haven't really stepped up to the plate the way they should have. They're not giving you the relationship that you deserve. So you feel like you need to do what's best for you with the Justice card. And you need to distance yourself from them and, and detach yourself from them. Because I don't see you being willing to settle for less than what you deserve even if you do love them or have strong feelings for them. All right, let's go to their side of the reading. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Capricorn is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Capricorn, please?
What is this person's energy towards Capricorn for the week? Page of Pentacles is their energy towards you. Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Here are fonts. Four of Swords. There goes the Emperor and the Eight of Swords. Well, come on. This person knows they were playing games. Look at this. Emperor and the Hero Font card. They know what's right and what's not right. They know what you were expecting from them. This person is not a fool. This person is very intelligent. Very intelligent, very intuitive. They know exactly what's going on here. But unfortunately, I feel like this person has a lot of ego and pride and stubbornness. Um, and I feel like this person plays games. They play, they play head games, mind games, psychological games. And I'm not sure why they do that. Why does this person play games with the Five of Swords spirit? Why does this person play games with the Five of Swords? The Five of Cups. Yeah, this person is just very damaged. You know, this person has a lot of emotional baggage that they're carrying. They're emotionally insecure. They're emotionally immature. Somebody hurt this person in the past, and now they're in this victim mode energy where they feel like they're the victim, and they feel like everyone is out to get them. Everyone's trying to betray them and deceive them and lie to them. Um, they just have a, a poor outlook on humanity. On human beings and on humanity as a whole. They just don't have any faith that people have good intentions. Or will ever have good intentions. And it's because of something that they went through in their past. They're carrying that anger and that resentment with them. And they feel justified to be a narcissist or to be, you know, self-centered, to be selfish. They feel like they're justified in doing that or in being that way. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in their energy towards Capricorn. The Star. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. There goes the Empress. You two are showing up once again as a true match. Emperor and, and, and the Empress for the second time. And Hierophon is here. So this relationship has a lot of potential. This is a relationship that could lead to marriage and, and commitment, long-term commitment. But this person needs to let go of their victim mode, of their victim mentality. Mm -hmm. They have to stop having this I'm, I'm the victim mentality. Everyone is out to get me mentality. Hmm. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles in their energy towards Capricorn. Nine of Cups. You are the one who they want to be with. They definitely see you as the love of their life. You know? They see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as the, the biggest prize to be won. But I definitely see that this person is struggling to let go of that ego that they have um, connected to them. What's the Nine of Swords again? Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Emperor and the Hierophant and their energy. Five of Pentacles, yeah, they feel justice and the death card. Yeah, they feel left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. They feel left out in the cold out of this. They feel kicked out of this relationship. They feel rejected. It's definitely shattering their ego 
or bruising their ego, and they are getting desperate, okay? All right, Capricorn, I'm going to stop the reading here, and I'm going to continue now in the extended. In the extended reading, I'm going to take a deeper look at this person, and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions, what actions will they take towards you moving forward, and what, what will the overall outcome of this relationship be. All right, if you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.